Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a product, how to create your first digital product using Send Out. So this will show you how to create your product and how to get that link so that you can start selling your first product. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Now, who am I? I'm not going to take long to explain who I am. I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com, teaching you how to be better at YouTube marketing and online business. I'm a YouTube certified marketer and I've been able to create a full-time income from my online endeavors. And I want to help you do the same so you can wake up doing exactly what you love every morning like I'm able to do right now. Now, before we get into the video, if you haven't got send out and you do want to grab it, please go to growonyoutube.com forward slash send out. I'll get a small commission. If you go through that link, it helps out the channel, but I only suggest tools that I use and love. Remember that I, I would never suggest something to you that I don't use that I don't love never because what's, what's the point? <laughs> I'm not going to make a video and stuff that I don't like. But Sendout, is, it's got a very special place in my heart because Sendout is what I used when I first started selling digital products. Well, before that, I used WooCommerce, but then I used Sendout, which is way better. And it's so affordable for beginners. It's a, extremely affordable. Right about now, I'm still using Sendout and I believe I'm paying like £24 every month. It, you pay in dollars, so it fluctuates every month, but it's less than £30 a month and I'm on the highest tier package, I believe. At least the highest tier package before you have to contact them and, and ask them, you know, do this custom thing for me. So it's really, really affordable for people starting out. You can get it for as cheap as I think $15 a month if you only want a few different um, products and that sort of stuff. But this isn't a send out video. You can go over to the website and see all the different things that they've got over there. I'm just going to show you how to create that product and how to get up and running so that you can start selling some stuff and making some money. So let's go to add product. Now, when you come into send out, when you log into send out, you will have all these menus on the left hand side or all these tabs and if you click on products and add product it will bring up this drop down menu, or not this drop down menu but this pop-up menu which gives you the opportunity to now pick what kind of product you want to add now is this a digital or physical product if it's that you click here if it's a service you click here if it's a subscription you click here if it's a bundle you click here we're only going to be dealing with the product in this video if you want me to go into how you can sell services and how you can sell subscriptions and bundles let me know in the comment section down below honestly i have personally only sold services uh products and bundles throughout this throughout send out i generally use bundles to be honest because i sell a code and a file that tells people how to use the code so i need to bundle those two up but let's show you how to deal with products because you will need to create a product before you even create a bundle and we're not going to de be dealing with bundles today so we'll click on product and here it's pretty straightforward you just click what kind of product is it is it a software product if it's a software product you can get automatically generated licenses and all that sort of stuff which is you know way more in depth than i know about right about now because i haven't released released any software or you can have you know digital file you can have a redirect which means when they purchase this it will be redirected to a specific link you can have a drip product which means you know when someone purchases it they'll get pieces of the product over time for example if you created a course and you've got 10 videos in the course maybe you don't want the, the people who are buying the course to get all 10 videos at once you want them to get a video a week or a video a day to make it more manageable and to lessen lessen refunds and stuff like that so you, that's what you can do with drip and uh, obviously physicals of uh, physical products you can have a sales limit this is basically the amount of stock you have that's what you'd want to do there or if you're selling this on both you know you're using send out and you're using other alternative shopping carts to sell this then you can actually just limit this at a certain limit so that you'll have enough to sell basically so let's pick digital farm and we're just going to name this test product and then you can attach a file, you can upload a file or enter a URL. I'm not going to do either right about now because that's a bit long. Actually, you know, let's upload a file because that's what I generally do. Let's upload a file. We'll upload one of these ARC 
settings uh, real quick. So I'm uploading one of my Arc three times cold server innies, and then we can just change the price over here to whatever we think the price should be. So let's change that to 19.99, and then we'll create that, and then this will upload the file. And Bob's your uncle, mate. <laughs> like you're done at this point, really. You can share this on Twitter. You can use this link to share it. Now, what I personally do is I. Oh, what I personally do is a bit complicated, <laughs> to be honest. I need to show you um, a, a completely different video on how to do this, but I'm going to show you what happens with this and I'll, I'll show you how to do it in a different video because it's a little more complicated and you need to know a little bit about coding and I don't really want to like push that on you right about now if you're unsure what you're doing. But if you use this link, then what it will do is it will just take you straight to, you know, the checkout page, which is great. You know, that's, that's lovely. You know, you can get people to just check out, but on my site, I don't send people to the checkout page. I have this download now button, which then if you click this, the checkout page pops up on the actual site. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video. Let, let me know in the comment section down below if that's something you want to learn. But right about now, we've got the buy now button which is what you need basically like that's that's all you need and then you have a sales page and then you just put this buy now buy now link on the sales page or the button on the sales page and this is a script that you can use to have the button appear on the page if you don't know how to use scripts don't worry about this right now if you're using thrive architect as i've been showing you how to do then you can just edit the button and add the link to the button and that will just take people to the checkout page which is basically what you want to do and that's a very straight forward sales process you've got your product uploaded there's more things that you can do here but i don't think these are things that you're going to be doing as you've just started out now if you've got an email list then you may want to make sure that when people buy this product they're added to one of your forms now you'd have to set up convert kit or whatever email service service provider you're using for that to happen but these are things that are possible you can also make it so that people can pay whatever price they want um, for your products you can also make it so that people can become an affiliate of your product and all that sort of stuff is available in send out but i just wanted to show you how to get up a product up and running so that you can start selling something i don't want to get too deep into the nitty gritties and give you all the advanced information right about now if you want me to get into that leave a comment down below let me know exactly what you want to learn and i'll get deeper into that but remember, if you haven't got send out already, go to growonyoutube.com forward slash send out to grab that. It really helps out the channel. If you use that link, I get a small commission. It's lovely, lovely. And yeah, question of the day. What are you currently using to sell your digital products? Or are you looking for stuff? Like, have, are you using something? Have you used something before? Or are you just looking for your first shopping cart to sell your digital product let me know in the comment section down below it'll be really interesting to see where you're at and i will see you in the next video where you'll learn more about youtube marketing and online business remember there's a free course over there go sign up to that and peace out